the goal is to keep water on your location as long as you can to slow the, the flow of the water going south or east and west. Because as a thousand people a day move to Florida, the resources are gonna be stretched and water is, is the main resource. So people you know, within 20 miles of the east and west coast are gonna need drinking water. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna recharge those aquifers and then store water on our properties uh, through these conservation easements. It's management of the land. It, it's a culture, it's a way of life. Most ranchers are land rich and cash poor. You know, they're just working the land just like anybody else going to a job in town. I worked at the post office for 33 years and I worked at the livestock market for 41 years, having to get up to go to the post office at three o'clock in the morning. So we put in a long, lot, lot of long days and my wife, Gwen, she worked 25 years for the school system. And then she got in, became the supervisor election for 16 years. So we have put <clears throat> some hard years in to come, you know, to accumulate this property, but it's been well worth it. There's several misconceptions out there about ranches in Florida right now. And in the news right now due to, to the algae problem in Okeechobee and the red tide on the Gulf that I have seen in the news and several quotes that say, Ranch lands are the problem. All of us are part of the problem. Every single citizen, every single person, every single home site is the problem here in Florida. But are we one of the answers? You bet the ranch lands are one of the answers to this water crisis that we're having in Florida. An investment by the public in a conservation easement is a less expensive way of doing it today than it would be you know, 10 years or 20 years down the road when land prices are higher and development pressure is, is greater because we can put this land in conservation in an easement and have less pressure from development later. You know, it's cheaper to do it now. We all have a responsibility to, to fix the problems south of the lake. We all have a responsibility to keep these problems from happening north of the lake. The north of the lake is the part that we can fix without it costing mega, mega billions of dollars. It's water infrastructure. This is the future of Florida's drinking water. It's the future of Florida's farm water. It's the future of Florida's estuaries and lakes during droughts. And water is life. I mean, next to oxygen, what's more important? We're advocating for a comprehensive approach at addressing our, our water problems and any um, attempt to address our blue-green algae or red tide issues needs to also begin at the source and protect the landscapes that hold and clean and filter our water before it reaches the coastal estuaries and our beaches. It's a team effort. We need to work together to survive.